I'm ready to move now, but that give me a reason to move now. This man says his young family has seen and heard of too much happening in the city. The latest just this morning, right in front of the house next door. As soon as I came out, I discovered the body across the street. This man, who does not want to be identified, was walking his dog around 6 this morning on Evanston on the city's east side when he approached a woman he thought was sleeping on the ground near a curb. Turns out she had been fatally shot in the abdomen, her body lightly tossed out of a vehicle. A young lady with a pink shirt, blue jeans, black gym shoes. Police believe the victim may have led a risky and dangerous life as a prostitute, but her murder is the fifth in the last two days in the city of Detroit. Still, interim chief Ralph Gobby says homicides this year are down compared to last. Overall, it's still down. 23% down in homicide year to date compared to last year, same period of time. 17% down relative to non fatal shootings. Uh, so we are still uh, trending in the right direction. Shortly before the woman's body was found this morning, a young man's body was found on Coyle Street. Police believe he was beaten to death by three other men. Then, in another case, a man was killed by someone he was trying to sell a car to, someone he met on Craigslist. When you're engaging in commerce on Craigslist, it's very important, especially when you don't know who you're dealing with. Uh, make uh, And you're bringing money. Uh, it, it's wise to be in a public place. I mean, we would recommend even going to a police station. Chief Gobby says they do have good leads on two of the five homicides, hoping to make an arrest in those quickly. But if you have any information on any murder in the city of Detroit, call Detroit Police Homicide Investigators. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.